hi everyone in this video I'm going to show you a super easy super simple way converting your bed in your RV in a way so that it will have a dog bed underneath the only things you need the staple gun and one maybe two nights this will work for any type of conventional bed as well as a murphy bed the first thing to do is completely remove the bed and then open up that board and as you can see it's all very well enforced you just have these really thin boards all around so you don't have to do any reinforcements like i thought i had to do first and then this is why you need the two knives you're going to need one knife that's kind of pointy and one butter knife usually the sharper pointy knives are not that strong and your butter knife is a little bit more solid so as you can see most of these things are put down with staples and not screws or nails so you're just using your knives to um, you know to take it all up and sometimes you need the pointy knife to get in under the staple and then other times you actually need the strength of the butter knife to make it work so it's not rocket science i'm making it sound like it is <laughs> but just take your two knives or maybe a screwdriver and you're just going to go all around taking up all those staples and remo removing that outer casing or i don't know what you call it and then eventually you are removing the board you can kick it on the bottom a couple of times <laughs> that will help and then it's done it basically took me about 10 minutes and then you could see what it looks like um, you can just put back those boards all around and this is when you're going to use your staple gun now the only thing is you will be able to see that on the top it's okay but on the side it looks like something is missing so later on i'm going to explain what else you can do to make this look prettier but honestly nobody is going to look at it up close the dogs are not gonna care you do want to remove all those um staples that might still be there and that's it you are basically done wanted to do was not to completely remove the board but sort of make like an arch like this so that it's not completely open but there's a little bit of a front wall but when I looked at the board it's so thin so flimsy I thought that if I do that or even just leave like a little wider area like cut it out and then just attach it the dogs moving in and out eventually you know they will keep rubbing up against it and eventually it might just break it's just gonna look to be in the way so i want to avoid all that but i definitely encourage you to get creative with it and do it however you want i have seen some pictures where someone only cut out the middle opening and they made it into a door now i don't want to close my dogs in there you know i want them to just be able to lay down and an experience and see everything so I don't want to do that but you might want to do it if you want your dogs out of the way in certain times just don't do it too long because then they don't have any air in there the other thing you can do is if you have a dog crate this size you could put it inside or you can basically take it apart you just need the front and then just put that in the front just attach it so then the dog technically is closed in but they have all the air they need so you could do all kinds of things depending on what your needs are although I was pretty happy with how it turned out I decided to paint the wood a darker color so I did it the quick and easy way I just propped up that board with a mop I gathered some newspapers some brown paper bags from the grocery store they could lay kind of flat some scissors and masking tape and I also grabbed some big boxes I had at home I figured I could just lay them down on the floor you know right next to each other and they will cover the ground easier than putting newspaper down and taping it to the floor and everything so then I taped up everything I didn't want painted over but I was um, painting kind of close so I didn't have to tape everything up i was also using a spray paint i figured it's easier you can also use the type of paint that um, you're using a brush with but this was quicker and i used two layers so i painted it first i let it dry 
And then I went over it again because wood absorbs paint differently in different areas. And then I went over it with a clear coat. You can also double check everything and just, you know, paint in all the small areas. It's not going to be perfect, but overall, you know, nobody's going to notice if you skipped little areas here and there. But um, overall, I would say this is still pretty quick, maybe a half an hour, and it makes a huge difference in height looks overall. If you have more than one dogs, like more than two dogs, and you can't all fit them in there, you could find other places to do this with. You know how you have your dining area, you have your two benches and then the table, and then you can convert it into a bed where you sleep on it. The two benches, you actually don't move or don't really do anything with it, but those usually also have storage underneath. If you could find a way to make an opening in there, then you could have one, two dog beds. So you could do it on the inside, just remove that board or maybe just cut out part of it. You can also do the, the front that's facing out, but usually they make those much more sturdier it might be harder so i would suggest to go on the inside and cut out whatever amount you need you can of course take off the cushions and look inside and see what it will look like it will be a lot more skinnier a lot more enclosed but you know if you have a couple of small dogs that would be perfect for them in the evening so you can definitely get creative with it you don't just want to enjoy your rv you also want your dogs to do that us thank you so much for watching if you check out my other videos when i'm trying to put things together and fix things up you can see how i don't know a whole lot <laughs> i usually have a vision some kind of a plan i try to think it through and then i try to make it i'm a fan of simple things i'm not a perfectionist so nothing i ever do is perfect but i kind of feel like if it works it works why complicate it right i usually just go with it and then try to fix things as they come up along the way i make many mistakes but then i fix it so if you have any ideas about this any other ways you could make it or you did make it let me know leave me a comment this way other people can also see it and they could gather some ideas so once again thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time come on misha let's go come on let's go come on sweetie let's go misha you gotta go inside come on doggy misha come on let's go come on sweetie misha let's go baby Make sure to go.